Hey friends, welcome back. Today I've got a video that talks about how our children do chores and get compensated with allowance in our household. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new around here, I hope that you enjoy the video. Consider hitting the subscribe button to be a part of our family. We'd love to have you along. As I mentioned, we are going to discuss how we do chores and allowance in our household. If you're not aware, um, my husband and I have two children. Jackson is six and a half, and Alice is soon to be five, depending on when this video goes up. She will be turning five on May 14th. So we recently started, I would say in the last six to eight months, we started a chore system in our household. Now, our children have always contributed to the household chores in one way or another, even at younger ages, just whatever they were capable of doing, they helped with. We've always made it kind of fun, almost like a game, and so they enjoy helping most of the time. Our six and a half year old is starting to give a little pushback sometimes because he realizes there are more fun things that he could be doing. But here in our house, what we do, and it may not sound like much, but our kids can earn $10 a month. Yep, $10. That's not a lot of money, and wait until you hear how it's broken down. Each week they have chores, and I'll get into that in a moment, but they get paid $2.50 per week if they have done their chores well and listened and just kinda, we feel like they did a good job. So that adds up to the $10 per week. The $10 gets split three ways. If you listen to Dave Ramsey, this is going to sound very familiar to you, but we don't follow his, um, like the system he has for children like to a T, but that gets split into spend, save, and give. So the $10, $5 each month, they get to spend on whatever they want. Sometimes we try to give them a little gentle push into one direction or another, or we remind them that maybe that's not the wisest thing to be spending their money on, but $5 each month, they get to spend on whatever they want. And sometimes they'll actually let it accumulate in their little savings account so that they have a little bit more if they have something that they are working towards. The next portion, $4 gets put into savings. That's money they don't get to touch. We're not exactly sure what we're going to be doing with that. Probably just saving it until they are older and using it towards their first car, most likely, or when they graduate high school. And then $1 each month gets put into the give category. And although that doesn't sound like much, it's teaching them, like, towards the end of the year, what we plan to do around the holidays is to let each of them take that 12 or so, because sometimes they can get bonuses by doing extra chores or stuff like that. But they take that give money at the end of the year and our plan is to buy a gift for like Toys for Tots or donate to the Salvation Army like Kettle or something of that nature, buy a meal for a family, donate to a food pantry, something in that sense. So that's how we split the $10 each month. Now, their birthday money, any money that they get for, get for holidays, all of that goes into, we do split that between spend and save slightly. Most of it they get to spend because we do realize that that was a gift in lieu of a present, but we do set a few dollars aside to the save category just to help bulk up that savings for them. Our kids do not go without, so all the money that they're spending is on stuff that they don't really need for lack of a better term. And so the spend money is just to try to teach them how to budget their money, that things cost money, the value of money, etc. Some of the chores that the kids do, they alternate weeks. So one week Jackson will have two chores and Alice will have two different ones and they alternate the next week. The chores that they alternate between are loading and unloading the dishwasher to their capability, glass plates, glass mugs, etc. are put away by myself. Anything that they can't reach to put away, I will put away. But for the most part, they unload the entire dishwasher as much as they can and I will take care of the rest. Loading the dishwasher um, isn't as much because I tend to just load it after each meal, but they load their own dishes in after their meals and they do know how to load. The second item that they help with is to sweep or vacuum the floors downstairs in our main living space. We do have hardwood and so we have a vacuum or they use the manual like hand broom. And they do a pretty good job at that. Alice particularly really loves that chore. She will sometimes do it just because. She actually prefers the hand, like the regular old school hand broom and then she does the vacuum. And I will leave a link down below to the Dirt Devil vacuum that we use. It's a pretty good price. It's a little bit noisy. It works for what we need it for. The next chore that they help out with is to clear the dinner table. Now this means that they will clear all of the items off the table that do not belong there. 
they will also get out a cleaner or a wipe of some sort and wash the table down after meals or at least right before bed each night so that way the table is clean and ready to go for the next morning. And the last chore that they alternate between is to organize and straighten up the front entryway. This is where all of our shoes end up jackets, backpacks, my purse, keys, all of that. They will organize and put all of the belongings where they belong. And then they will also sweep that area if needed and just make sure it looks nice and tidy for the next day. So those are the chores that the kids do get compensated for. There are still other things that they do around the house that they are expected to do just because they're a member of the family. Some of those items include cleaning up their toys both upstairs and downstairs, taking care of their dirty clothes when they get dressed in the morning and at night when they get their pajamas on, brushing their teeth in the morning and in the evening. So these are just gentle reminders of these are things you need to do both for your own health and also because they're your your items, they're your responsibilities. It's not mama or daddy's job to pick up your toys. You are both plenty old enough to put toys away. You're plenty old enough to take care of your laundry. On the topic of laundry, the kids also help with laundry. Now this is not something that we do every day in our household. So whenever it's a laundry day or whenever I have laundry going, I will ask one or the other of them, depending on what they're doing, to go ahead and either put a load into the washer and I will assist in putting soap in. And then I will ask them to switch the laundry from the washer to the dryer because they can do that all on their own and start the dryer without any assistance whatsoever. And then also pull laundry from the dryer into the laundry basket and take it into my room to be folded. So they can almost do laundry start to finish on their own at the ages of five and six, basically. And they've been doing this about they've been helping with laundry for quite a while but they've been doing this much involvement for about the past like I said six to eight months so it's really kind of nice that I'm teaching them that now I feel like so as they get a little bit older they will be able to take care of their own laundry on a weekly basis even folding and putting away once we get to that point. Those are the chores that they are expected to do, both the ones that they are just expected to take care of and then also the ones that they get compensated for. And then they can also earn bonus money from us to get paid into their spending category if they go above and beyond and help out with other tasks around the house. So for example, last week or the week before, they were both very much in a cleaning mood and Alice was cleaning windowsills and wiping down windows, scrubbing tough spots on the floor that all, don't always get picked up with the mop. Jackson was cleaning upstairs and wanting to vacuum and cleaning the bathroom counters and the bathroom mirrors. So they really went above and beyond. When we were up north visiting family over spring break, Alice took it upon herself. She asked if she could wash my mom, so grandma's dishes. She washed dishes all on her own and Jackson also helped with shoveling off the porch because it had snowed. They had gotten like 12 or more inches of snow. So he took it upon himself so that my mom didn't have to. He actually went outside and said, Grandma, go sit down, I'll shovel the porch. So they both got bonuses for that. So stuff like that where they take it upon themselves or if there's a bigger project that we're working on in the house where we ask them to do something and they don't give any pushback and they're willing and able to help us with that, they can get bonuses. So that is the way we do chores in our house. I know some of you are like, that is not a whole lot of chore money, but it has worked for us right now. We will likely reevaluate it in the near future and possibly change that amount. But honestly, right now, the spending money that they're getting, they're buying really silly things. <laughs> And so we don't need a bunch of knickknacks and stuff around the house. I would rather them learn to spend their money on the silly things when they have less money to spend than if we increase their spend money and then they're still just buying more silly things. One of the items that Jackson really wanted was a headset, um, speaker and headset thing for his Xbox. We told him that he would have to save up for that and it was 30 or $35 and he took some birthday money and he took some of his spend money and he was able to purchase a headset for himself. And I can guarantee you that he is very proud of that purchase because he knows that mama and daddy did not help him with that and he takes care of it and he has pride in that. And so we remind him when he wants to spend his money on something silly like candy or a blind bag that maybe we should make better choices with our money because you know maybe last time you spent money on a blind bag did you play with it and usually the answer is no not very much they'll open it and then it'll just get tossed into a toy box and so we try to set up those sort of like thinking situations like okay do you remember what you spent your last allowance money on 
And if they can't remember it, we remind them, well, maybe that wasn't the best purchase because it wasn't that special and it wasn't something they really thought about. And it was just an impulse purchase that you don't even care about now. If you have suggestions on how we could modify that thinking or maybe we're doing it the way you do it, I would love to hear suggestions down below. We just want them to have a healthy relationship with money, to know the value of a dollar, to know that work equals compensation, that you don't just get money to get money. So those are some of the things that we're trying to instill in them. And so far it seems to be working and they enjoy it, but I'd love to hear your input down below. So drop me a comment and that is all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.